Welcome to Channel to Chaos. Today we'll learn something called a structure. Now structure is basically a collection of items which forms a particular product or an object. Let's say that we have got a book. Okay, a book is basically an object, right? Or something that we can touch. So book consists of a name. It has got an identity with a ISBN number or some other kind of identity like a barcode or something. Then it has got the price. Okay? It has got a particular price. Each book has a different one. It varies. Okay? So that is, let's say, a really, really brief and a basic description of a book. So in programming, in order to create an object like a book, we need to declare a structure. So again, structure in a technical definition would be a collection of different data types, okay, elements of different data types which forms a particular object, a real world entity. So in order to do that we need to declare a structure. So you can do it two ways. We can declare a structure inside the main and we can declare a structure above the main. Okay? If you declare the structure above the main, the access of the structure would be globally and if you declare inside the main it would be accessed only inside the main. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to access it outside the main since this is the one that is going to be used the most. So getting started. So you declare a structure with the keyword struct. Okay? S T R U C T is how it's spelled. Give it a space and mention the name of the structure. Now I'm going to de describe a book. So I'm going to name it book. You can name it absolutely anything. It's upon you. Be as creative as you want and put in the curly brace brackets okay inside these brackets you can specify as many elements as you want but do keep that in mind it should be related to a book I don't mean that you cannot declare anything un which is not related but it would be wrong it would be technically wrong okay so once that we have got all that sorted we want to declare the elements that I'm gonna choose let's say I want a price a book has a certain price I'm gonna name it price float in this case float price again float for an decimal value a book can be 51 euros 50 cents right so that's why I'm gonna choose float then we have got the name I'm gonna take it a character name and in this case a string of 20 because the name is just not a one character it's multiple characters together so there you go a string and then we have got the identity in this case a price sorry the ISBN number ISBN alright so I've got these three elements uh, which forms an object a basic description of an object but as you can plainly see one is float one is character and one is an integer so these are different elements these are not same elements these are different data types one is a float one is a character one is an integer totally different functions for each so this is something that you couldn't do with anything else, not even with a function, not inside the main, not using your variables. You are forming a particular structure, an object, using different data types, using something called a structure. So this is an immensely good thing. It's a really good feature which is available in C and C++. So focusing more on a point, okay. So now we have got a structure created. Now we can create as many objects as we want. Now do keep that in mind we need to put a semicolon over here. Now there's a reason that we put a semicolon over here. We put it so before this we can declare a variable. Let's say b. Now this b is basically the object. This is one book over here. So we can declare our book right over here or we can be a little bit more sophisticated and declare it inside the main. So let's say book, the name of the structure and the name of the book B in this case this is my identifier so using this B which is again a variable of the data type book okay this is a variable okay so I can access all these elements modify these whatever I want using just this keyword B now this tutorial was just on how to declare a structure in the next tutorial we will learn how to let's say store structure store items in a structure access those loops and create arrays of the structures you will learn a lot more using structures but basically this was how to declare a structure I'm gonna run this program anyway it would run without an error but again I haven't done anything with it so it wouldn't display anything but again I'm gonna recap and give you a really simple way and a simple 
description I would say. Structure is basically a collection of elements which describes a particular object. It can be, let's say, a computer mouse, it can be a keyboard, it can be a pen, it can be a human being. It can be anything that you see, anything that you can touch. That is an object. So, we have briefly described a book over here. So, these elements, combine them together, creates a particular object known as a book. Now, this particular elements no, does not specify exactly a book it can be something else but again it was a brief basically a brief example that I want to give it to you so these elements are let's say related to a book okay which describes a normal book so we declared a structure book inside those we declared the elements which may be related to a book then we terminate it with a semicolon so the compiler understand that the structure stops over here and before that it's optional to declare the variable through which you're going to access the structure or you can do it with this way declaring inside the main the number of books that I want so this is over here one book created I can create as many as I want which will be learned in the future tutorials so basically this is a structure we will learn the use of the structure and how to access and modify it in the next tutorial so anyway this is my channel to chaos I hope you like this video rate comment subscribe Thank you very much.